Hey guys, it's Manny and my trusty sidekick. Oh, Benny's here. Welcome to the Thursday night craft show. We are thrilled that you're with us. The crafty sidekick who celebrated five years with May May made it today or this well, Monday, week, Monday. technically Monday. We're great for this time that we can spend with you guys tonight. If you're new here, we are May May Made It. You can find everything you want to know about us in our online craft store at www.maymaymadeit.com. You might not technically find everything you want to know about us, but you'll find everything you want to know about these products. Everything we use tonight, uh, you can purchase in our online store. Tamitha, who's back tonight, thankfully, uh, will be posting links. So you can just click on the link and go buy whatever you want and buy some extra while you're there. We also appreciate a thing we call vinning the video. Give us a thumbs up. Let us know you appreciate us and um, we'll show you all the love we can while we're here. My May. I, I love the pre-show question. If you don't get here in time for the pre-show question, I'm, I'm going to say them to you now because I liked last week. I said them and a lot of the people who watched the replay also commented about them and I really liked it. Question number one was, are you a rule follower or are you a craft it my way kind of person? Like, what way do you craft? That's question number one. The follow up question to that was, would you be able to take a single piece of paper out of a paper pack and use it? Never having intention or knowing what you're doing the rest of it. That was a follow up question. And the third question was. What was the third question? Somebody tell me. Uh, you... Did I do a follow up, follow up, follow up question? Or I only did two. You did, I think, just follow up, follow up. I think up. I did another one. What was my other question? Hold on, let me get back. What was my other question? You already probably typed it. I'll find it quick enough. Or I won't. Here we go. Are you? Oh, this is it. Are you using your supplies? And here's the here's the the question like this. Okay, or or you find you're using your supplies more now than say when you started crafting or less than when you started crafting. The um, the thumbnail of tonight or the title of tonight's video should have been, I'm having an existential crisis if I know what existential means. And if I said it correctly, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm really having a crafting crisis. Okay. And we're going to talk about it tonight. And I'm going to do a project tonight that steps me out of it. So I've been thinking about this. So as a YouTuber, everybody doesn't have this problem, but as a, as a, not a YouTuber, as a person who creates content for crafters, okay, tutorials for crafters, I want to say this to you, okay, some people make crafting videos that are not tutorials, I make tutorials, so that's, it, it's a lot of pressure on you, because no matter what tutorial I put out there, somebody's going to have a way to do it easier and better, and many times they're right, okay, so that's not a, that's a good thing, but a lot of times it's just a different way to accomplish the same thing. But because I make tutorials, there's a lot of rules I have to follow in my paper crafting. Shannon and I were talking about this and I'm like, you know, I never can just go, hey guys, go grab your pack of paper and pull one piece out and use it. Because if I do that, a lot of you would comment, that's a waste of paper. What do we do with the rest of it? You know, why wouldn't you use all the paper? But What's wrong with that? What's wrong with going, I want this piece of paper. I own this paper pack. I want this piece of paper and using it first and maybe use the rest later. It's funny because in my sewing, I'm noticing that I told you I'm not going to pour in a bunch of fabric because I don't need to do that. I'm not sewing enough to do that. I paper craft enough to do that. I don't feel bad about how much paper I have. I use paper. Okay. But I found I'm letting myself dig into my layer cakes, which is basically a paper pack for fabric. And I don't care if I use two or three pieces of it. And I don't care if I have a whole plan for the thing. And I was like, you know what? I want to do this more in my paper crafting. So then last week, I get the pleasure of sitting in on Eileen's class and Brenda's class. Okay. And I'm not saying that there are crafting rules. I don't believe in crafting rules. I believe you do what works. You make it work for you. But I do believe that as a tutorial creator, there are some expectations for me. I believe that. I think y'all probably agree with that. Now, I'm watching them. And they are literally just having fun. They do not care. Brenda took a whole, <laughs> she took a whole gift bag from Starbucks and Sephora and cut it down to six by six. And the rest of that stuff she discarded. And I'm like, if I did that, if I didn't use rest that stuff, I'd probably hear about that, right? But her finished product was so cool. And she had no pressure about that. None. 
Um, Christopher Allen says hello. Hey, Christopher. He's watching. I'm so glad you're here. You probably deal with this too, Christopher. So here's the deal. What I want to do, not always. I'm not saying I'm changing anything I'm doing. I just wanted to say this tonight. When I saw this paper pack, here's an example. In my brain, I wanted to make a hexagon album. Well, I'm just going to be honest with you. It's going to be kind of wasteful. It's not going to be the most paper saving and the most, uh, it's going to create some scrap. It's going to be doggone cute though. But I think it'll be cute. And I'm, <laughs> I don't want to put myself in this box, this hexagon shaped box and say, you can't make a hexagon album. It'll be too wasteful. And also here's another thing. It's going to be awkward to do. But I just watched Brenda and Eileen do whatever, just take, just start with whatever and turn it into the cutest projects. Have fun. That's I'm, what we're here for. I want to say this to you. I want to make this very clear. I never craft when I'm not having fun. Crafting is fun for me. It okay. Is. Folding paper, glue and things. That's fun for me. But what I'm saying is this is kind of different. It's kind of different. I tend to be known, and I don't know why, I tend to be known as the person who's like, everything has to be scored perfect and blah, blah, blah. But the reason for that is because I'm a tutorial teacher, not because I'm a crafter. If you saw me craft, Shannon could tell you, I'll get it done, but it might not be with a scoreboard every time. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It might be with a bone floor every time. So we're going to, I'm not doing a Brenda album and I'm not doing an Eileen album. I'm just going to play and do something they may wanted to do because she had a vision. All right. And it is just paper. I do agree with that. Made it thrown board. I love that. All right. I'm not going to go to all those comments. I will go back and watch them. And if you want to chat in the comments uh, below later, it's an interesting conversation. Okay? That is correct. Scraps are always good for quilt cards. Oh, I'm, and that's, and I don't mind having scraps. Like we do not mind. And I'm going to tell you something else. We don't mind throwing things away. We know when we're done with it. Okay. We don't throw away anything that could be donated to someone or used for someone. We're very lucky to have a Sylvia. <laughs> Sylvia has uh, teaches Sunday school and we're very lucky or, and she has children's church and she always needs things. VBS. She has VBS. We're very lucky to have her for that. And she has a smaller, a little smaller congregation that she works with. So she can use a lot. She can use a lot of leftovers where some, where we can't always do that with folks. So it's really handy for us. All right, let's talk about this. So what am I talking about? So I want to make a hexagon album and it's not going to be, it's not gonna make any sense. I just want to do it. Okay. So I have this six by six chipboard that I adore. It's my favorite chipboard and I always love playing with it. And I like making little chipboard albums. I think they're fun. I think they're easy and I think they're useful for gifts or for yourself. So I've got this Be Happy paper that has been on my list to play with for the longest time. And I want to make a hexagon out shaped album. But here's the thing. It's very hard to make a hexagon. So I went out online and found an origami teacher who teaches you how to take a piece of six by six copy paper and fold it to get a hexagon shape to use as your template. But I've made that easier for you. Don't stress. I've made something easier for you. But I want to have Tamitha link her video in the in the chat because, and also in the description, if you don't mind, Tamitha, for the folks watching later, because it's pretty neat. And if you if you decide you want to make this like an eight by eight or 12 by 12, which you could, you, well, 12 by 12 might be a little tough, but Go watch that video and learn how to take paper and fold it to a hexagon because it's going to come in handy, I promise. All right, but I'm going to make this easy for you in that I cheated for you. Didn't cheat. I designed this, okay? So we're going to have a hexagon-shaped album, but it's going to look like this, okay? It, this is going to be what I'm going to bind with, so the hexagon will be here. Won't this be adorable for bees? <laughs> I think it Absolutely. Will. It kind of looks like the shape of a honeycomb. Right. Well, or the, yeah, the thingy that they... Have. The thingy they put the honey in. That's a honey guy, right? Most people would call it that. Yeah. All right. There's a couple things you need to decide. I'm going to help you with this, okay? You need to decide on here which side is your spine and then which side is not. I'm going to do it just like this, okay? This is my this is my spine side. So what that means is I need to – by the way, we'll have pictures of this for Tamitha for the blog post afterwards and all that, okay? I'm going to measure over from the spine side to three and a quarter. So I'm going to go just like this and put a pencil mark at three and a quarter. Now, it's important that you do that same measure at the top from your spine side. If you twist this around and you do that measure here, you're not going to get a hexagon. You're going to get some other shape. I don't know what it is. OK, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to come from that same side and measure three and a quarter. Don't you mean their hexy will be gone? Your hexy will be will be flexy because I don't know what it'll be a flexible hexy. All right. And then I'm going to turn this up just so you can keep up with where I'm going. 
Okay. So we just did these. Now I'm going to do these and they're easy. They're an inch and a half in top and bottom. They're easy if you can read your ruler. All, inch those, and a half in. all those blacks and whites start yeah, to everything, blend in. Everything here <laughs> looks the same. All right. So I've got inch and a half up, inch and a half in. And then I want to do this. So I'm going to turn this all the way around and do the very same marks on the other side. Inch and a half up, inch and a half in. The only place you have to be super, super careful is on that um, three quarter mark. You got to make sure you're measuring from the spine. OK. All right. We don't need this anymore. Now what we're going to do is connect these lines. Connect the dots. Connect them dots. And Rebecca wants to know, do you need to put your eyes on? My eyes are for far away because I'm supposed to still be able to see up close. She's supposed to. Um, she needs to go to the eye doctor. I don't know that that's really a thing anymore. Okay. Now let's talk about this. Let me go back to my little thing here. I don't know that I can see up close anymore. Okay. So the inch and a half piece, do you see how I went in? I went in three quarters of an inch. Let me show you how to do this. I want you to see this. So I'm going to need to get something pale. I have one of those pieces that I was using to practice on. Oh, that'll work. It don't matter. Something pale. All right. We tried to do a hexi for you guys and it did not work. All right. So where I have on my spine side, where I have my inch and a half down and inch and a half up marks, I'm going to use this grid to my example. I mean, to my favor, just like I do when I'm using fabric. Okay. I'm going to put this grid three quarters of an inch in on my page at that one and a half inch mark. I'm using this as my measure, the inside of the ruler. Okay. So when I do, I'm going to take that three quarter inch mark on my ruler and I'm going to line it up straight with the edge of my chipboard. So I know this line I'm making here is straight. It's, it's straight. It's straight. Okay. It's great. It is straight. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. Three quarters of an inch lining this line up with the edge. just like a T-square in the air. You see what I'm saying? You're using those measures to your advantage and you know you get your uh, three quarter of an inch way down. I needed to turn that where I could see it because I got my, I went a little past my mark is what I'm trying to say. So probably don't have to be this specific either, but I'm going to. All right. Then what I want to do from this end to this point, I need to measure, I need to trace there. I need my May word. Which one was it that? All of them. We've been making up lots of stuff. These we days. were talking about t-shirts today, me and Jasmine. And I think we need a t-shirt that says adorgeous. That's it. Nothing else. Adorgeous. Just adorgeous. I like adorgeous. Just the word adorgeous. I think that would be so cute. So here's our shape. Now, here's another place we're going to step outside the box. We're not going to stress about it. We're just going to use some scissors, y'all. When do we get scared of scissors? You don't have to. If you don't, you're going to have a little bit of a hard time right here. But with your scissors, you can just do this. And don't worry if everyone is not perfect. Don't worry if this one matches up with the other one underneath it. None of that. It doesn't matter. I promise you when it's done, people are like, that is the cutest hexagon shaped album. And no one's going to be like, well, that page there is a little off from the last page. And I'll tell you something else I find. Anybody else use 500 scissors? I really do. Okay. I mean, there's a certain scissor for everything you do. This one right here, by the time I get down to the end, I feel like the leverage ain't going to do what I want right here. So I take these little guys and I use them right here because I think they do a fan. I could even do it like this and not have to even go past it. It just snips it. Valerie said she'd buy that shirt. Adorgeous. Adorgeous. Rebecca is curious as to whether the Tim Holtz rotary would work there right here because I did it. But then I went, it won't work here because there's no possible way I can get that rotary to stop right there. And I had considered in case y'all want to know, I considered letting the rotary just run off and my binding be, I mean, my binding, my, um, yeah, my spine, let it have this angle, but I think it will take away from my hexagon. I think it'll make the shape not look like yeah, I think it take, my, that would be my thought. It would take away from your angles. I think it would make the hexagon look like I didn't do it right. You know what I'm saying? If you just looked at it, but use anything where you want to do it. Anything where you want to do it. Okay. So this is the shape I'm going for and I want five of them. Five of them. Not 12. Not 12 of them. I want five of them. You can do whatever you want to. Okay. You can do 
three, four, one. I cut some ahead of time. So, look, it's going to be cute, right? I think so, too. So, this is where I need to poke my holes. So, let's go ahead and do that, just so you can kind of see what's happening. Let's just do one to get us started. See, I, I'm still playing, but I'm still doing this my way, if that makes sense. Like, I'm still so going to use this. How many uh, clamps are you going to use? Two. So, you worried about spacing them equally? Three would look cute. Is three too much? Is that overboard? Three would look cute. Because hexagon is an odd number. You know what I'm saying? Technically, you could do one. One would be too wiggly for me. Three would be cute. Three would be cute? Don't you think three would be cute? It's just one more? I think three would be cute. I think I'm going to do three. It'll give you more support. All right. So I'm just laying this here. That's the center. So since I'm going to do three, I will mark the center. And I'm doing about a quarter of an inch in. It's a little more than a quarter of an inch. So let's go here. Right. Well, it said three. Three would be cute. One, one. Okay, so I'm an inch and a half this way. So half Tana an inch and a half three. is three quarters. But I think I want to fudge this a little bit. Tina said she would just use the sense to do this, make it easier. Two, three, this way. Perfect. Okay. Now, let's poke a hole. And for these rings, no, I'd use this size. All right, so I'm going to go like this. Poke these holes. They're not going to be exact. Well, thanks for watching Ardeen in Oklahoma. Her first live show. Ah, welcome in. That's not bad. I like those. I really like three. That's crazy. I like the look of three, right? Okay, so right here. I was wondering if you was going to stack and just keep going. You know me. You know me, sir. You don't have to. You could draw, you could trace it. Um, and I may have to because the light really blinds me from that. I saw that first one just fine. This one I could not see. But I can still do it stacked. I just couldn't see through that uh, dealy through that dealy blobby okay so there's those good news for those of you making suggestions on how you could bind it without doing what she's doing you know there's lots of different ways to make it happen the thing is this is what I want it to look like yeah and that's and I'm not going are there other tools? Do I have, I have every tool known to man. Could I do it? I do. But this is what I want it to look like. I want it to have these rings. Some days you feel like doing it a different way. The look I'm going for is these rings. I love what Brenda did on her album. I love it. I love how she added all the trims and the, and I can just see this album having all, and you can still add that to a cinch binding. It's no big deal. Oh my gosh. Yes. So during yeah. this moment, I'm going to say thank you. And welcome all of those watching on Facebook tonight. Uh, again, we appreciate the fact that you're tuning in. And we love the ability to use our software to be able to stream in both locations at the same time. So you may be watching on YouTube or you could be watching on Facebook. But we appreciate all of you either way. Yeah, I just think this will be cute with the rings. I, I don't know, maybe it feels like a beehive to me. I like the silver shininess of the rings. All right, now here's the other thing. I am not going to try to map these pages. Like, I'm not going to try to have a border. We talked about it. Shannon, I talked about it. And I was like, you know, there's some math that could be done. There's a pattern that could be made. It can be done. If you want to do that, do it. But again, I told you I just want to have fun. So here's what I'm going to do. Okay. I just want to have fun. Hey, did, where's where's our two-inch Elizabeth tape? So are you thinking you're going to stick it down and then you're going to trim around it? Yeah, watch this. Look at me. Did we? So I'm getting you, babe. That was really good. Do you see two-inch Elizabeth tape over there? Okay, do not. I see oh, we're full sheet. The little half sheet ones. I don't know. I may not want to go through all that, honestly. Let me be honest and tell you I may not want to. Here's my thought. I want to line this up like this number to kind of clean my little edge up there. 
and then I'm going to glue that down like that. Ooh, I made that close. But it's there. And then I'm going to glue that down and trim off what doesn't work. If you turned it the other direction. Or time on to do this. And put the uh, circle on the opposite side. Yeah, I'll have more room. Yeah. You'd have more room. Might, I, I might think. not can always do that because of the pattern. But where I can, I will. But it depends on the pattern. All right. So glue. And you're gluing just around the edge. I'm going all the you're way. You're going to stick it in the middle too. You're going to do the swirly. I'm going all the way. I can do your trick here. I think that is going to be so pretty. I don't care if it's perfect. I don't care if it's perfect. I got to do it. I was going to say, yeah, you do. I'll give you a paper mat. No, you're cool. I was looking for my finger blade. Um, it's usually in there, ain't it? I don't believe it is. I don't see it. I don't believe it is. And I don't it. know why. She found it. No, you didn't found it? She found it. All right. I also don't have a cutting mat, so I'm going to do this. No, no. I ain't stressing about it tonight, Emma. She doesn't want to scratch her glass mat. That's why yeah, she's I mean, cutting on the chipboard. I have a cutting mat. I know. I do have a mat I can use. I just don't have it handy. I didn't think about this part. But actually, I can be honest, y'all. I kind of like that. I might have just learned something, Shannon. Learn. You it, learned good. It feels very safe. It takes the blade into the... It kind of accepts it. Yeah. As a friend. I kind of like that a lot, actually. This may be my new cut piece. Oops. Technically, my shirt is white, but I do have on a blue shirt under it, which makes it kind of. <laughs> we said that. Really, we look like we got the blue shirt memo. Yeah, I looked in the camera, which May May walked in this morning and said, We did it again. A couple times. Because we have, um, we've been a lot of matchy this week. Yeah. In fact, Vince said, Do I need to go home and put my black shirt on the other day? <laughs> yeah. I didn't have on a black shirt, and they both did. Let's do another. Oh, this is cute. Another. Another. My grandma would say another. another. Let's do another. Oh, oh. Did y'all's grandma say another? No. Well, Grandma Gay said another. Let's do another. She'd say, go get another. Usually a orange push pop. That's what I always wanted from her in her freezer. We'll go get another. Orange is Noah's favorite. Does he do push ups? Because they um, are he'll do push. His favorite are like just any type of orange popsicle. Because I love me. That uh, knife that she's using on the end of her finger Ooh. is a finger blade. And it is from um, Fiskers. Fiskers. I think we're out of them because there was a misunderstanding in our store. Did you know about the misunderstanding? I did. Did you? I don't know if I did or not. Um, Amber said that I said that I wanted to get rid of them in our store. I don't remember that. And she said that I said it. And and I have been, I could have said it. I could have been having an existential crisis then. <laughs> I don't remember saying this is a, an item I wanted us to get rid of because I really like mine and I use it pretty regular so we are bringing them back because she said well you told me and I was like well I didn't mean to maybe I was mad at it that day <laughs> but I don't think so because I haven't really been mad at it look how cute oh, so cute so cute what's next oh these stripes are cute I want these stripes I want these stripes. Do you get two Vinnies if you like them that bad and on YouTube? I don't know. Probably not because I think it's from your account. You could try though. <laughs> this chipboard is the graphics medium weight chipboard, I think. Is that right? Medium weight? I think. It's really nice. It's really more matte board than chipboard. It's really thick. I really love it. I don't cut myself with the finger blade. 
Jackie, that is the uh, finger blade from Fiskars that we are currently out of stock on. My fault. But we will have or them back. Anders, one or the other. If they're, if it was can. not mine. Shannon's innocent. Innocent till proven guilty. Innocent on this one is what she's saying. Amber will probably say, I'm guilty. I said it. She did. Shannon didn't want it. Get rid of it. Shannon's one who said it. It wasn't even us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't even us. It was Shannon the whole Amber time. Amber said Ooh. it's hers. I think it was probably me. Amber's been pointing out a lot lately that I say things I don't mean and that she's been like keeping a record of them so that she can remind me later. You said you didn't want that. Yep. Amber said Shannon was there. <laughs> you were present. I don't listen to my mic. No, she does not. <laughs> that's what she's learned to do. Where Amber still listens and takes notes, Shannon's like, that's a waste of time. She's going to change her mind. She will change her mind. A hundred times. You ought to go shopping with it. Maybe will change her mind. Woo. I have a buggy woo, full of woo, stuff we woo. have to put back on the shelf. Look, hey, but guess what, you that page is. It's quite all right to change your mind. They say it's y'all's Because wrong. let me tell you, she comes up with some of the cutest stuff so she oh, can change her mind sweet. anytime she wants. You're sweet. Except after I've gotten all of the other cut, you can't change your mind then. Oh, gosh. That almost happened today, too. Yes. It only a little bit did happen. It did happen in the final no, product no, of the video. but No, Ella wants to know, were you at the meeting? I was not at that meeting in particular. I was at some of the meetings. She created the meeting, Noella. That's the problem. Listen. She Benny has this me. product meeting with Amber. It was so funny. They, I said, I think it's a good idea. They think it's a good idea. So they're having this weekly product meeting, right? Which is great. The very first one they did, the point of the product meeting was so I wouldn't have to be in attendance. That They would do it, right? The very first meeting, I'm, in my, I'm at my desk in my other side of the studio, not office. I don't have an office. I have a desk. And uh, I hear Vince go, where is she? And I looked at Shannon and I said, that is not the point of this meeting. What did we say that this meeting was? This meeting was for them to meet. And he said, is she going to attend this? That's what he said. Is she going to attend this? That's right. I, get, I got my coffee and I got my phone and my laptop and I went to attend the meeting. <laughs> it was funny. Each, are y'all shocked I didn't use that side? I know you are. I know you are. There are some things that we need her brain for. I agree, Amber. I try to help y'all. Y'all are like, you're the one who picks out the product. Yes, for the most part. Y'all do a great job picking out product, though. Amber will say, well, what she's been saying lately is, I showed you those three months ago. <laughs> Look how cute this is. Amber and I have product meetings before you get here. Um, I... I am normally at the product meeting. I did miss this week's, but I couldn't help it. Can I go over just a little bit tonight so I can finish covering these and then put the rings on them so they can see how cute they are? Yeah. I think your name's on the door, babe. <laughs> Do whatever you want. It's supposed to be worse, isn't it? No pictures on the wall. It's supposed to be worse. It's on the floor. Yeah. Soon to be the other wall. By the time y'all come to Spring Open House, which I hope you do plan to attend, Spring Open House is April 19th and 20th here in the shop and all around our town. Have I said that? I don't think I've said that. The whole town's doing it. Everybody's doing it. Um, and even Petals from the Past will have antiques in the garden that weekend. So if you're looking for something to do, this is the weekend to come. It's going to be good. Um, Beverly? No, not Beverly. Linda, those were six by sixes originally that she cut out in the shape of a hexagon. hexagon. And I'm going to give you all the dimensions and stuff. You'll have it. Um, Tamitha has probably already put most of it in the in the um, description. No one Tamitha. But yeah, open house. Everybody in town is doing it. It's not just me. We'll have a flyer for you um, coming up real soon that has everybody listed on it. Um, so much will be happening. Um, you can even go to the theater. Our new, you know, not our new theater. <laughs> our new theater. The Waitsonian. The new theater. Our old theater is being redone. Delta Listen, do me a favor, you guys. If you are a TikTok person, do they do Instagram? If you're on TikTok, go follow Peach Country Theater. They are doing, um, they're redoing the theater and they're taking you along. Like when they open up a wall or they open up a mystery door or something like that, 
they take you along. And it's so funny. They did one recently and they were kind of sad about what they found in the mystery drawer. I said, I ain't sad. You remember what happened to her raw though? They found stuff. He didn't. I'm like, don't be sad about that. Or Geraldo wasn't sad, you know? Yep. And um, But I love watching them, so go watch. And it's really cool to kind of see what's happening with the theater. Um, if you aren't following it, following them yet, go do that. You'll, you won't be sad that you did. Geneva, if you will contact the office tomorrow, someone can help you do that. Oh, yes, that's not an issue. Call us and we will help you. You can do it on your own. You can go into your account and do it. Um, but I know a, lo a lot of people call in for help for that. So Haley can help you. Look at that. That's cute, right? So is that. But I think that's cute. I've been about white flowers today. So anyway, holiday, uh, holiday, spring open house. Petals from the past is having antiques in the garden. They are also having the homesteaders YouTuber event that's where if you're into homesteading there's going to be a lot of homesteaders coming to town for you to meet and greet them at petals um so you'll be able to do that but don't miss the petals from the past event it's my i mean the antiques in the garden event it's one of my favorite spring events brenda and i go together we do not miss it that didn't lay straight missing it this that year. I, I probably won't miss it this year to be honest with you i will probably find a way to get there they start pretty early and i think they stay open longer saturday than we do so I should be able to get there. But I'm super excited. And what else is happening? We can talk more in the after show about, we've got a bunch of stuff going on we can tell you all about. But that's one for sure you don't want to miss. Put that on your calendar. All right, I may not do all of them. My finger's getting tired. So we may just put the rings on it and see what it's going to look like here. Would y'all want, I'm going to ask you, because if you say no, I'm not going to do it. Would y'all want me to finish this in video form and put it up on my channel just as I go? So you can see how the whole thing works out. What do I want to be the front? Probably this guy. Probably. I don't know. He's cute. I don't know. So I got two more pages to do. I'll just do this. He could almost be a fish. They say yes. Okay. So I'll do that. I'll keep going with it. I think it would be fun. I think it would be fun. It might be fun to do a process video. What do y'all think about that? I have not done a process video in years. I feel like YouTube is, is revisiting things we used to do back in the day. Like I watch so many people that I think are so good and I like to watch them create from start to finish. Oh my gosh. Look what Shannon just set up there and did. That's so cute she just made that little be tied on, tie on the side look how cute this is oh my goodness i love that that's cute you need to show them what well we can show you in the after show. we'll show them real quick where's that bag where's the bag right there <laughs> they're all open so be very careful <laughs> these are the beads she's using we brought these in because they're big aren't they cute i and didn't even have to use a threader so with that, um, yeah, I used the jute. Let me show them that. She's wrapping it up. <laughs> I had to find the end. <laughs> she used this cord that we brought in. We have it in all kinds of colors with these beads to make that. That's adorable. That's adorable. Yeah, I want to add so much stuff. We've got beads. We got, I want to really play with this. Anyway, what do y'all think about that? Like that's, a, that's not something that people have done a lot. It's a process video. Back in the day, we used to do them all the time. And some of the people I follow do a process video where it's not, you're not really sitting there with me the whole time, but I just kind of turn the camera and go, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try this. And um, it might be fun. And I would probably want to do that filmed because I would probably need to sit down, walk away, sit down, walk away to get that video done. And I think it'd be fun to kind of do that. What do y'all think? A process video, not a tutorial. It would not be a tutorial. It'd just be like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. So. Again, welcome to all of you watching on Facebook. We are very grateful that you took the time out to hang out with us that way. Uh, so thanks again, everyone on Facebook. Hey, these beads, we have them in black, white, and I think we have a set that's just vowels. Yes. So we have the black, the white, just the vowels. So if you need more vowels to go with your consonants, 
there are vowels in this. There's there's consonants and vowels in here and some little icons. But if you need an extra pack of vowels, I thought that was brilliant. Because so many times you never have enough A's or E's or I's or any of that kind of stuff. Um, so there's the black ones. They come in white and they have a pretty big. Um, oh, look, that's how big the hole is on the side. Isn't that great? All right. So maybe we let Monday nights be process videos till this one's done. And then maybe we start another process situation. That'd be cool. All right. Why don't we head to the after show? Thank y'all so much for being here. Thank you for letting me just play and do what I want to do. This is going to be cute, isn't it? And then I just got to like find like a day that I can see if Sam wants to take the girls to like, I don't know, be having or be something. And wouldn't it be cute for yeah. them to do something be, or maybe we make something honey. Maybe we make something using honey. And I like the three rings a lot. Eat some honey. All right. So, the link to the after show is right there. If you've never attended an after show, come over there. We hang out. We talk. We have a good time. I'm going to show you a new product that's in. I'm going to be talking about a contest that is currently running. You don't want to miss out on. I'm going to be talking about um, the new segment called Show Us What You Made. And I'm going to be talking about mystery bags. All right, guys. We'll see you over there in just a few minutes. Bye now. <laughs>